Hello guys, hope you guys are having a nice time. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to cut and sew a shoko too, which simply means a trouser with an elastic waist and a rope as well. So in one video, you'll be watching how to cut a shoko too and how to cut... Okay, good. I mean... <laughs> Why am I doing this? In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to cut and sew a trouser with an elastic waist as well as rope. So in one video, you're going to see an elastic video and uh, a rope band with the same trouser. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video and I hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumb up. That will allow the YouTube algorithm to share it to more people. And if this is your first time here, make sure you hit on the subscribe button. And in exchange for that, I'm going to do something. I'm going to show you a video of a cat, a very nice cat. Did you see that? So make sure you subscribe. Let's get straight to the video. Bam. So in case you don't know what a shokoto is, a shokoto is mainly a trouser that you can use to wear normal traditional wear or a booba or anything. It's just like a normal trouser but without elastic. So this is what it looks like. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. to cut a shokoto it's different from a trouser it's a trouser with an elastic waist or a, a tie um, a rope waist so but in this video in this particular trouser i'll show you guys how to sew it as well i'll be using only i'll be using both the elastic and the rope the, the rope knotting um style on this particular trouser so without further ado let's get straight into the video this will be the upper part you can see i already make a line at this point you can see right here i already make a line here um, this is an, okay, so i already make a line here so first and foremost the measurement i'll be using is so here is the measurement i'll be using uh, let me focus that you can see waist 40 lap 24 and m is 15. That's the digital measurement I will need. That's the digital measurement I will be needing for this. So as you can see, I already make a straight line at this edge right here. You guys can see that. So the waist which is 40, when you're sewing, uh, when you're cutting a an elastic waist, you're going to add an extra two inches to that waist side. Don't forget. So here, I'm taking the measurement from this waist side. Okay. So your uh, 40 divided into four places plus an extra two inches. That will make it 12 total. So here, I'll be taking a measurement of 12 inch for the waist side. You guys can see that. Let me zoom in closer to that upper part. That's where we're going to cut out our upper, our waist side. So here, don't forget. So you should not forget, we're going to have our elastic at this upper part. So in order to cut that length, I'm going to add an extra two inch for the elastic. The elastic itself is one inch and I'm going to put in half inch. So the total of that part is going to be 1.5 inch. So I'm going to take in two inch at this side. I believe you can see that. Two inch. So I'm going to bring it together. You can see what we have. That is for our two inch. So right down here, we are going to take our crotch measurement, which is going to be our waist divided by four, actually. If you're showing it for a very fat person and you measure the hips, you can use the hips as well. But I usually use my uh, my waist measurement, I usually use my waist measurement to calculate my crotch. But in this case, I'm showing for an adult person, so they don't like anything that is too tight or too free. So when I take in my measurement, which is supposed to be 10 inch, Right here, let me zoom in very well so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so when I take in 10 inch right here, that's um, normal. If I'm sewing for a normal person, I'm just going to use the waist measurement to cut it. But so far, I'm sewing for an adult. I'm going to, okay, sorry, the 10 inch is going to start from here. Sorry, I made a mistake. The 10 inch is going to start from this side. This is where you're going to take in all your measurements. Second line right here. So the 10 inch is going to start from here. 
So when I'm taking in 10 inch, I'm going to add an extra 1 inch to that, which will give me a total of 11 inch for the crutch measurement. So you guys can see that. So at this point as well, I'm going to take in my 12 inches from this side. From here to this place, I'm going to take in my 12 inch. Just to have uh, my crutch curve line. So from this side, I'm going to join the two together. You can see what we have. So at this place, as you can see, at this place, I'm going to add my extra 2.5 inch for my crutch curve. This is mostly universal if you're cutting this 2.5 inch. If you want it to be quite firm, you can go for uh, like 2 inch. If you want it to be too like very big, you can go for 3 inch. But the maximum, maximum you're going to use here is a sole of 3 inch. Only if the person is like excess, like extra fat. So that's what we have here, 2.5 inch. At this point, I'm just going to make a straight line here. So that we're going to have our crutch curve. To get your crutch curve, all you just have to measure is just the same 2.5 inch you measure here. We're going to measure your 2.5 inch here as well. So you can cut at the same the same size so that's what we have there so the next thing we are going to do now is to measure our length also here don't forget if you you can use your lap to actually measure the side if you're going for like a 24 inch measurement or um, a lap of 24 you can use your lap to measure here but because you're still going to fit it at this side you're going to fit it at this side you just have to add your 2.5 inch on this side so now we're going to measure our length after we cut you don't need to shape on any of this upper side. You don't need to shape on any of this upper side. So now the next thing we're going to do is to measure our length, which is 40 inch. So your 40 inch is going to start from this side. Don't forget, we're going to add an extra two inch for our leg. So that will be 42 inch. So you're going to take your 42 inch from this side. You can see that. We're going to chalk your 42 inch here. Okay, so here, 42. And on this side as well. We're going to chalk your 42 here as well. So you can chop them together. But here I want you to pay attention. I like to shape on this side a little bit so that when I'm uh, when I'm sewing, I can have a little a shape on the down part. So most people used to leave it like that, but I like to shape on it. So here I'm going to take out one inch from this side. And from this side, I'm going to measure my M circumference, which is 15, and I'm going to add an extra half inch to that, making 8. Don't forget, so here I will be having 8 for the inseam allowance. So that's what we have so far. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to join them together from this side. Straight to the top. You can see. Straight this place that's what we have you see that so at this side as well Ankle measurement. Mostly, I don't measure the ankle. Uh, the the ankle measurement. No. Okay. So mostly, I don't measure the knee measurement. I just go from the waist side by 20 inch to around 20, 22, depending on the person's height. On this one, I'll be taking in 
22 inch for my ankle measurement. You can see, I'm just going to mark in 22 inch right here. You can see. So from there, I already make a straight line right here. You can see just straight line. So from here, I'm going to take in. So you can see what we have so far. You can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to make a cut at the side in order to make it. Because as a human, our body is not this shape. It's not like this edge just straight like this. So we have to make a cut around there. So this is what we have so far on the trouser. You guys can see. This is what the upper side look like, while the other side trouser. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut it out. It's very simple, as simple as A, B, and C. So I'm going to cut it out. You can see what we have. And on this side, I'm going to cut out this edge. So, this is what we have on our trousers so far. I'll be showing you guys how to sew this in a very, very simple tutorial. So, this is what we have. Next thing we're going to cut now is to cut out the back. So we're going to use this front to cut out the back now. So to cut out your back, it's very simple. Just place this previous one you already cut like this. Don't forget, you're going to cut this in double as well. You know, we have our two trousers just like this, our two fronts. So the next thing we're going to cut is our back. You just make sure everything aligned. Let's do this a little bit backward. So if you take a closer look to this place, you see what we have. You can see that. Make sure it's aligned very well. I need to place my hand on top of this so that it's no shape. So now I'm going to cut it out on this side. You can see that. So after you cut that out, this place as well, I'm going to cut it out. So we have. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this backward, just like that, and make sure you are leaving at least. A minimum of 1.5 to 2 inch at this side. Here I'm going to leave uh, 3 inch because it's an adult. It's, a, it's a, like a man, not a child anymore. So here, you can see at this point as well, I'm leaving 3 inch. And at this leg side, you're going to leave a minimum of 2.5. A minimum of 1.5 so with this one I'm using 3 inch any uh, anyone you're sewing if the person is an adult and you don't want something that is too fitted or too tight you can go for a minimum of 
1.5 to 2 inch. So here is what we have so far. Just take it backward a little bit, just like that. You can see what we have. So I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to trim this edge first. Don't trim in that edge. I'm going to trim this side as well. So, so far we have our front right here and we have our back. So the next thing we are going to do is just to couple them together. It's as simple as ABC. So that's about it on this video. I hope you guys like it. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And to see more of our video, make sure you hit on the notification bell to get notified when we upload a new video. Um, the next thing we are going to do now is just to sew it. So that's about it. I'll see you in the next video. So here is the pocket. Here is the pocket. Now I'll be using exactly the same fabric for the pocket. As you guys can see, I just cut it out in uh, this your pocket size. This is what it's going to look like. So it's going to be 14 by 14, which after you fold it's going to be 7 by 7. So as you can see, from here, from here to here, you see I have 14 right there. And from here to here, you can see I have 14. So the total you're going to put is 14 by 14. So we are going to have two pockets. So the next thing you're going to do is very simple. Just make sure the front is facing the front. You actually don't need that, but just like this. The next thing you're going to do is very simple. You're going to make a notch. So from here, from the top part right here, you are going to make a notch from this 8 inch. That's if you're sewing for an adult. Anyone, any adult from the age of 15 upward and they use a size of 7 inch, you're going to make a notch from here. At this 8 inch, make sure you're notching it together. See that? You're going to make a simple notch right here at this 8 inch. So this way you're going to make your stitch from. So let's go straight to the sewing machine now and couple it with the trouser. It's very, very simple. So right here, as you can see, we have the pocket in which we're going to use. So the next thing we're going to do, from that your notch right here, you can see, from this your notch, from this our notch right here, we're going to make our stitch. So just like this. So we're going to stitch from the front, so that after we'll be able to turn the inside out. So from our stitch right here, from our notch, sorry, on this side, we're going to make a stitch. So you can see that. After, we are going to turn it to the front. So we are going to have our, the right side is going to be inside. Because that's the part that will be the pocket and the wrong side is going to be outside. So after, you can see we have our notch. This is what your pocket is going to look like. You see, we have our, that notch side is actually pointing out. So the next thing we are going to do is to stitch. Make sure you pull out this ditch right here. We are going to stitch this side. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to stitch this side round. This direction. You 
can see what we have. So here is our pocket. This is what our pocket looks like. You can see that. We have our this will be the hole for your pocket, the inside of your pocket. So the next thing we are going to do now is to stitch it together with the trouser. So right here we have our trouser. Let me zoom back for you. So right here we already cut this out together. So let's place the pockets. You're going to do the two pockets the same way. We're going to do the same thing on the both pockets. So here we have our trouser. Oh sorry, this is the top. So here is our trouser as you can see. This is the front. And this, this is the front and this is the back. So you're going to take one inch, one front and one back of your trouser you guys can see that so we are going to start our stitch from the leg from the end part which is the leg side you can see my upper part is on the top and my lower part and make sure the front of the fabric is facing the front of your fabric so you are using the right you are showing the right side facing each other so next thing we are going to do is you are going to make a stitch from this down part straight and when you get to the top let me show you what you're going to do there because we have a we have to leave a space for the pocket okay so from here you guys can see I need to zoom back a little bit so from this side you're going to measure from the top, from the top of your trouser. You're going to measure 11 inch. We are showing for an adult, definitely. You're going to measure 11 inch. You're going to stop your stitches from there. Okay, you can see that. So between that place, you're going to make a notch. very simple so the next thing we are going to do now is to apply our add our trouser to the add our pocket to the trouser so as you can see right here we have our pocket you guys can see that and we have our trouser and now i'm going to be stitching on the back part this is the bigger part of the trouser you can see this is the front which is the smaller part you can see so i'll be stitching first with the to the back side so i want you to pay closer attention to what i'm about to do right now so here is your pocket your pocket is supposed to be like this are you getting it? Hey. Yeah. so as you can see your pocket is supposed to be like this on the side of the trouser so there will be an inner at this side are you getting so the next thing you're going to do is to take your pocket like this hold this side open it up so this is the side you're going to stitch to the back here, just like this. I you see what I'm about to do? You see your pocket? So this is the side you're going to stitch. So let's do that. So you're going to see the, the magic at the end, how simple that is. You stitch this part to the... See that after you stitch that part you can see when you turn it you have your back looking like this so the next thing you're going to do is to stitch the front as well so you're going to hold this one together with this side you're going to hold the two together the pocket and the front panel you're going to stitch them together just open it Going to start to stitch. Let's hold them down together. And 
I believe you can see what I'm doing. After that, when you turn this over, you're going to see your pockets looking like this. The trouser looking like this. You can see? see each other looking like this on this you can see that so you see your pocket you see your pocket looking like this very very simple when I zoom in you can see clearly and see what your pocket looks like. So the next thing we're going to do now is to make a stitch. We're going to make a stitch at the upper part of this place. This is where we define the line, something like this. But right now the battery is down. Let me charge it so I can continue. So as you can see, this is where your pocket. You can see this is where your pocket looks like. So the next thing we are going to do is to stitch this place. So you can see you're going to fold in just a little bit from this side, not to have a straight fitting. So from here, just like this, we're going to make a stitch. Just open it up. We're going to start a straight stitch from this side, just like a quarter of an inch. The very straight stitch. So when you get to that edge, you're going to stop. And so we did. I'm going to stitch this side. This straight to this side. You see that? So after that, make sure. So this will be the one to overlap, if you see. You see that? So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to make a stitch. And this is your last edge, that place you will make a notch. You're going to make a... You're going to lock a stitch there. The next thing you're going to do the wideness of your pocket, how you want it to be wide. On this one, I'll be using uh, a total of seven inch. Let me get my tape. Here, I'll be using a total of seven inch. You can see. You can see where my seven inch ended. So right here. I'm just going to measure my 7 inch from starting from this notch here. So after that, I'm going to stitch it up. So as you can see so far, this is what our pockets look like. You can see that this is what our pocket look like, and from the inside, this is what you're going to have. You can see this is what we're going to have. So after we do, you're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side of the second trouser. So this way we're going to fold and have our elastic. 
it will be more than this. This is two inch. You can see that. So this is what we are going to fold at the uh, at the waist side of our trousers. So you are going to do exactly the same thing to the second trouser. So after that, we are going to couple it together. It's as simple as A, B, and C. So right here is the second leg. You can see. I already fixed this one. So you did the same thing to this one as well. You can see here is our pocket. You guys can see that. So the next thing I'm going to do is to join the leg. This is quite different from making a normal trouser. I'm going to join the leg. So my leg side conference, which is uh, 14, which is uh, 15, sorry. You're going to measure your 15 for your leg side conference here. Just measuring your 15. So leg side conference right here. see that don't worry just close it up you can see what we have so far we have our trouser and a one legged trouser so you are going to do exactly the same thing to the other one as well and after that we are going to do the closing so after stitching the two legs you can see we have one here and we have one here and this side is closed the leg side is closed you can see that you can see what we have so far and here is your pocket side so also this one so this is torn this is the inside of the trouser you can see that the inside this one too is the inside so the two front this is the front, you're going to make sure they're facing each other like this. You can see. Make sure they're facing each other like this. And after that, you're going to stitch it around to the crooked side. We're going to join it together. So here. But before we join it together, we have to give a space for our... We're going to give a space, space for our rope, our elastic and our rope. So in between here, I'm going to stitch to 3 inch and I'm going to leave half inch for the elast uh, for the rope, rope, and, uh, rope um, entrance. I'm going to leave half inch for the rope entrance. So from here, I'm going to stitch 8. I'm going to stitch 3 inch. I'm going to make it tight to there. I'm going to come down. Let me let me let me zoom in through so that you can see what I'm doing clearly. Okay. Okay, so here after this place, I'm going to leave an half inch. Half inch. Okay. So after that, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to make sure one is a little bit longer than the other. So this is the one you're going to use for the turn up. So you can see one has to be a little bit longer than the other. So you're going to start stitching each other straight up. Can see so 
can see what we have so far our trouser is almost ready see this that's what our trouser looks like so here remember we leave an entrance here at this side so there will be an opening at this place you can see there will be an opening at this place so for that opening, the next thing you're going to do is to make a stick, make a notch at this part. This way you're going to do your turn up. This way you're going to do your turn up. And after that, you're going to make a stitch from here. So after you finish sewing your thread, you can, uh, your rope, you can see this is what we have. So you're just going to knot the edge of each of the rope. Just put one knot. You can see that. So here is what we have so far for our trouser with an elastic. To you. Very simple as A, B, and C. Right here is what the shokoto look like after finishing. You can see. So the next thing you're going to do now is the leg side. You're going to fold your leg because it is still very. You're going to weave and fold your leg inside. So so far that is all about cutting and sewing a trouser with an elastic and a rope band. Mm, I will see you guys on my next video. Make sure you enjoy yourself. Peace. Anyway, you go.